Hello everyone, this is Mr. McMillan, and I'm here with the quiz review uh, answer key on angles and polygons and tessellations. And uh, as you can see, I've already filled out the uh, front part. Uh, the front part will be uploaded along with the rest of the answer key. And I just wanted to explain it. Uh, so this first uh, chart just goes over the names of the polygons and how many sides each one has. Uh, it's meant to be a study tool for you to look over and uh, determine uh, how many sides each thing has and uh, what each one's called and, and learn those. Because what you're going to see in the problems is that uh, some of them just say octagon or decagon or dodecagon or whatever. Okay. Um, the one that you do need to take note of uh, that we didn't really talk about that much in class is uh, this one here the 11 sided polygon, which is known as a hendecagon. Okay. So this is known as a hendecagon that has 11 sides. All the other ones we talked about in class. So if you do see hendecagon, it's 11. And then uh, here at the bottom is some uh, formulas for you to, you know, to look over and study and everything else. So you got your sum of the interior angles in a polygon is n minus two times 180. Your one interior angle is n minus two times 180 over n. The sum of the exterior angles is 360, always. Uh, the sum of the angles around a vertex is always 360, just like we talked about in the uh, instructional video. And one exterior angle is always 360 over n. Also keep in mind that interior and exterior angles are supplementary, which means they sum to 180 degrees. So with that said, let's get into solving each one of these. So let's look at number one. Number one says, what is the sum of the interior angles of a dodecagon? So the sum of the interior angles. Well, we know that we're going to have to use the formula for the sum of the interior angles some way. So sum is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now, we're looking for the sum, so we need to know what n is in this case. Well, we're given that we are looking for it for a dodecagon, and a dodecagon has 12 sides. So n is going to equal 12. So when we plug that in, we get 12 minus 2 times 180. 12 minus 2 is 10. And then 10 times 180 is 1800. So the sum of the angles in a dodecagon is 1800. All right, number two. The following is a regular octagon. So a regular octagon. And remember, an octagon has eight sides. It wants us to find the measure of angle x, y, z. So in this problem here, you see that you have x, y, z here. So angle x, y, z. Remember, the angle is only at the middle here. So it's the angle that's at that vertex, which is y. So right here, is what we're looking for. We're looking for that angle, <clears throat> which means that we're looking for only one interior angle. So we're looking for one interior angle. So one interior angle, the formula, you have to take the sum of the interiors and divide by n. And what that looks like in a formula, you have n minus 2 times 180. That's your, for, uh, that's your sum. And then you divide by n, which is the number of sides the po uh, polygon has. So we're looking at a regular octagon, so n equals 8. So we get 8 minus 2 times 180 over 8. 8 minus 2 is 6 times 180 over 8. 6 times 180 is 1080. Divide that by 8 and you get 135 degrees.
All right. Number three. Number three says this figure is a traffic sign in the shape of a regular octagon. What is the value of X? Now, if you look at X here, <clears throat> X is on, is not in the interior, it's in the exterior, it's on the exterior, okay? You can tell by that extended line there and the fact that X is there. So X is an exterior angle. So all we want here is one exterior angle. So we're looking for one exterior angle. So our formula for that is exterior is equal to 360 divided by N, where N is the number of sides. Well, this is a regular octagon, so N equals eight. So our exterior angle is X. We take 360 and divide it by eight. And if you take 360, divide by eight, you get 45. So X is equal to 45. Number four, what is the sum of the exterior angles of a convex polygon with 120 sides? So the key words here is, is that it wants the sum of the exterior angles. And this one's easy. The sum of the exterior angles is always 360 for a convex polygon, always. So the sum for your exterior angles is 360 degrees. It would not matter what number was there. If it's 100, if it's 90, if it's 200, if it's 250, whatever number that is, if it wants the sum of the exterior angles, it's always 360. All right, number five. Number five says each interior angle of a regular polygon has a measure of 156 degrees. This polygon has a total of how many sides? So. The easy way, the easier way to do this is to find your exterior angle. And we can find our exterior angle here because we already know what the interior is, okay? If you remember from the, uh, from the first part of the video, we talked about interior angles and exterior angles being supplementary. So in this case, that means that the exterior angle is going to be 180 minus 156 which means that our exterior angle is 24 degrees. Now, you may be going, well, how does that help me find the, the total number of sides? Well, this is one single exterior angle. And the formula for that is exterior equals 360 over N. Now we know our exterior angle is 24. So we're gonna plug that in. We don't know what N is. So we have to leave that alone. Now on the right side, you have a fraction here. We're gonna make the left side look like a fraction by placing the 24 over one. And now since we have two fractions, we can cross multiply to solve. So when we cross multiply, we get 24N is equal to 360. Remember, multiply across the diagonals. We have 24N is equal to 360. Now we need to solve for N. So to do this, we need to divide both sides by 24. And when you do that, you get N equals 15. So this polygon has 15 sides. <clears throat> Number six, what is the measure of an exterior angle of a regular 22-sided polygon? So it wants to know the measure of an exterior angle. And when you see that word an, that means one exterior angle. So our formula for finding one exterior angle is exterior equals 360 over N. And in this case, it says a regular 22 sided polygon. So that means our N has to be equal to 22. So we take 360 divided by 22. And when we do that, we get 16 
degrees for our exterior angle. So that's our answer. And we do tend to round to the nearest tenth when, when that happens. Okay. All right, number seven. <clears throat> what is the measure of an interior angle in a regular nonagon? So it wants the measure of an interior angle. So we want one interior angle of a regular nonagon. And if you remember, a nonagon has nine sides. So n is nine. So your formula for the interior angle is n minus two times 180 divided by n. So in this case, you get, you plug in nine for n, so you get nine minus two times 180 divided by nine. Nine minus two is seven. Seven times 180 is 1260 divided by nine gives you 140 degrees. So an interior angle of a nonagon is 140 degrees. Number eight. Number eight says one interior angle of a regular polygon measures 150 degrees. What is the measure of one exterior angle? So we're given an interior angle and we want to find the exterior angle. The relationship between an interior angle and an exterior angle is that they're supplementary. And supplementary means they add up to 180. So in this case, our exterior angle would be 180 minus our interior angle, which is 150, which would give us 30 degrees for our exterior angle. Number nine, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 1260 degrees. What is the name of this polygon? So you're given the sum of the measures of the interior angles to be 1260. So you know you're going to need to use the sum of the interiors formula, which is n minus two times 180. Now, in this case, it gives you the sum and it wants to find the name of the polygon. Well, to determine the name of the polygon, you have to know how many sides it is, so we're looking for n first. So our sum is 1260, and that's n minus two times 180. All right. Then we're going to, you have two options here. You can either do it using the distributive method and then solve it, you know, like normal, or you can go ahead and divide by 180. And when you do that, 1260 divided by 180 gives you seven. So you get seven equals N minus two. Well, we still don't know what n is, but we do know that n minus two is seven, so we add two both to both sides and we get that nine is equal to n. Well, what polygon has nine sides? A nonagon has nine sides. So in this case, you would select nonagon because it has nine sides. Do be careful because I guarantee you if that's a multiple choice question, a heptagon would be on there because you get a seven here. Okay, so be very careful about that. All right, number 10. Number 10 says, which of the following regular polygons can tessellate the plane? Select all that apply. Now, if you remember when we talked about this in the instructional video for tessellations of polygons, there were three regular polygons that could tessellate the plane. And these were a triangle, a quadrilateral, otherwise known as the square, and a hexagon. 
a pentagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, so on and so forth could not. The only three that can are the triangle, quadrilateral, and hexagon. All right, so let's look at number 11. Number 11 says, what is the measure of an interior angle in a regular hexagon? So we're wanting the measure of one interior angle and we're looking at a hexagon. And remember a hexagon has six sides. So we're looking for one interior angle. So the interior angle is equal to N minus two times 180 over N. So you get six minus two times 180 divided by six. Six minus two is four. Four times 180 is 720. 720 divided by six gives you 120 degrees. So the measure of an interior angle in a regular hexagon is 120 degrees. All right, number 12. Using the diagram below, what is the measure of angle three? So angle three there, if you look at it, you see that angle three is in the exterior. So angle three is an exterior angle. Now you also notice that all of these other shapes, or all these other angles, excuse me, are also exterior angles. So how are we gonna figure this one out? Well, if you remember, exterior angles always had a property for any type of convex polygon. And that is the sum of the exterior angles. The sum of the exterior angles of any convex polygon is 360. Well, these are all exterior angles, and this is a convex polygon, so all of these outside have to add up to 360. So that means that the measure of angle 3 has to be equal to 360 minus 22 minus, don't forget your 90, people forget that all the time, then minus 106, minus 68. So if we type that in, we get 360 minus 22, minus 90, minus 106, minus 68, and that gives us 74 degrees. So the measure of angle three is 74 degrees because all of those angles sum up to 360. All right, number 13. Number 13 says the figure is composed of the regular octagon and triangle shown. What is the measure of angle QRS? So this is a tessellation problem. So what you need to do is determine the interior angles here and here first, and then use that to uh, figure out what your angle QRS is. So. If we figure out the interior angle of an octagon, your octagon, you take, remember it's got eight sides, so you do eight minus two times 180 over eight. Now, you can, once you have the N plugged in there, you can type it in and you'll end up getting that this is 135. Then we need to do the triangle, same way. So we do three minus two times 180 over three, and that gives us 60 degrees. So we know in here is 60 degrees, and in here is 135 degrees. Now, since this is a tessellation, at that vertex, there's a particular property about the sum around that vertex. And that is that the sum around the vertex is always 360 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle QRS has to equal 360 minus 135 minus 60. So we get 360 minus 135 minus 60. So that means the measure of angle QRS is 165 degrees. Right. All right, number 14. 
Number 14 says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 4,320. How many sides does this polygon have? So it gives you the sum of the interior angles. So we know we're going to have to use sum equals n minus 2 times 180. Our sum is said to be 4,320. And then we don't know what number of sides we have because that's what we want to find. So I'm going to get rid of this 180 first. So we're multiplying by it. So we're going to divide both sides by it. And when you do that, you get n minus 2 equals 4320 divided by 180, which is 24. Then to solve for n, you're going to add 2 to both sides. And you get n equals 26. So in this case, n equals 26. <clears throat> Number 15, in a regular polygon, the measure of an exterior angle is 24 degrees. How many sides does a polygon have? So it gives you an exterior angle and you want to find the number of sides. So you're going to have to use the formula for one exterior angle which is exterior equals 360 over n. Your exterior angle in this case is 24. 360 over n. Your right side's a fraction, so let's make the left side a fraction by placing over 1. And then we're going to cross multiply. So you get 24n is equal to 360. You're multiplying the 24 by n, so to get rid of it, you need to divide both sides by 24, and you get that n is 15. All right, number 16. In a regular polygon, the measure of one interior angle is 175 degrees. How many sides does this polygon have? So again, we're looking for the sides, but we're given an interior angle instead of an exterior. So find your exterior angle first. Remember, interior angles and exterior angles are supplementary. So your exterior angle is going to be equal to 180 minus 175, which is five degrees. Then, just like in number 15, we're gonna set our equation up using the exterior angle formula, which is 360 over N. So our exterior angle is five, 360 over N, place five over one, and then cross multiply, and you get 5n equals 360, divide both sides by 5, and you get that n is 72. All right, number 17. In a regular polygon, the measure of an exterior angle is 36 degrees. What is the name of this polygon? So this is just one that you're finding the number of sides and then naming the polygon based on the number of sides. You're given an exterior angle again. So exterior is equal to 360 over N. Your exterior angle is 36. Place the 36 over one and then cross multiply. And you get 36 N is equal to 360. Divide both sides by 36, and you get that n is equal to 10. And a polygon with 10 sides is called a decagon. All right, number 18. What is the value of x and y in the hexagon below? So one of these you can figure out real quick, and one of these will, will take a little bit more time. The one you can figure out real quick is why. And the reason why you can figure out quick, it's an interior angle, but it has this exterior angle next to it. So you know the interior angle and the exterior angle are supplementary. So since they're supplementary, you know that y has to be equal to 180 minus 81, which is 99. Well, we know this is 99 now. So now we can figure out x, but first we have to figure out the sum of the interior angles for this shape. 
and it says it's a hexagon. So it's got six sides. So the sum needs to be equal to six minus two times 180, which is four times 180, which is 720 degrees. Okay, well, all of these should add up to 720. Don't include the 81 because it's not an interior angle. So you take X to be equal to 720 minus all of those. So 720 minus 115, minus 143, minus 99, minus 82, minus 172. And if you do all that, get 109 for X. Number 19, number 19, the figure below contains a regular pentagon and regular octagon. Find the measure of angle X. So this one's very similar to number 13. So we have a pentagon and an octagon. We have a tessellation here. So we need to determine those two uh, angles. So those two angles are gonna be the regular interior angles. So for the pentagon, the pentagon has five sides. So you're gonna do five minus two times 180 over five. And when you plug all that in, you do five minus two, which is three times 180 is 540 divided by five is 108. All right. And then your octagon, We've probably done this octagon like eight times throughout this entire video. So eight minus two times 180 divided by eight, you'll end up with 135. So now you have your two interior angles and you know that the sum around that vertex is equal to 360 always. So you get X equals 360 minus 135 minus 108. So we just subtract those two angles from 360. And when we do that, we get 117. So 117 is equal to X. And finally, number 20, what is the sum of the interior angles of an octagon? So we want to know the sum of the interior angles of an octagon where n equals 8. So the sum is given to you by sum equals n minus 2 times 180. n is 8, so you get 8 minus 2 times 180. 6 times 180, which is 1080 degrees. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope this video does help. Um, you can always email me, um, you know, any questions that you might have. That way I can help you out the best, the best of my ability. Um, also, you can email Mr. Thompson. Both him and I offer Zoom sessions, um, but you have to make sure you reach out to us first um, so we know when to, you know, jump on and be there. All right. So, uh, Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.